we strive and how we uh, achieve excellence. So this is our end, right? I'm gonna show you guys how to get to, that, to that point, okay? This is kind of what we're shooting for oh, um, along the lines of, of this. And I'm gonna show you how we put this all together, make it look all fancy and nice um, and, and how we achieve that. Some, so, some things we I may do here today on the fly may be done ahead of time for you if you're going to be plating these up, right? So hopefully I wanna get this to a point where we do the production up to a point of very simple, so we can just grab a couple things, put it together, and also teach you guys a couple ways to get ahead. If we see it's a line starting to form out here, we know we're in for a busy day, something's going on in Hershey, something like that, we can pre-do elements of this to make it a lot easier to be able to execute a lot faster, okay? Ultimately, quality and speed is our friend, and this is what ultimately we'd like to achieve with this as well, okay? so. Um, we decided to go with this as a vessel, uh, biodegradable, good for um, the look, the feel of the winery, all that, instead of a you know plastic foam container, anything like that. All right. Biggest downfall with this is we've got a lot of things that have a high fat content. What happens with the high fat content? Right through the bottom of the board. So we need the paper. This stops that from happening. Okay. Plus it'll add a little contrast, a little. Fun. So basically your, your boxes are going to be up like this. You're going to want to take them and actually fold them down, fold them out. Okay. From this point here, um, I believe this is probably going to be a pre-done type situation, or this might be pre-shift as you show up for your shift. You're not quite busy yet. You're going to have to go in and fill ramekins. Um, we've got our honey from Castle. Very good. And I've got a little truffle, uh, spicy truffle mustard. Um, so truffle hot sauce and spicy brown mustard mixed in a very secret ratio, which I will absolutely share the recipe. <laughs> I am all about growing people not being secretive about anything, but these are going to be kind of our accoutrements to go with our meats and our cheeses and all that stuff. Okay. Chad, so, can I stop you there for just a second yes. only because you put your deli paper in in a way that looks very attractive. Yes. So like if it was me, I would have put it in not that way. So, so I thought, <laughs> and I wanted to point out that you put it yeah, at an angle. Yeah, you want to counter it, right? Yeah. So yeah. what that's I mean is with not, 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 not line it straight up that's and down. Exactly I kind of want to set it off. But I think you're doing like, like a little gift box, right? I spent a morning of, sh of shopping with him and he's talking about how he should slice things on the bias or straight it's like well you just slice it for god's sake <laughs> okay and and no he's all about uh, this right, right. Look. Look and this is why we're selling we're selling this at the price point we're selling at yeah. versus throwing a bunch in a box giving it out and making six bucks you know right. what i mean something like that so the presentation is going to play a role in this um obviously depending on business levels depending on how things go nothing is set in stone i've never set up a charcuterie program like this before either so feedback is important what works, what doesn't work, and we realize that we pivot from there, right? I know everyone's tired of the word pivot, but mm -hmm. it's a good word. Okay, so the reason I do these these first, these are kind of my anchors, right? It keeps my paper down, and then I'm gonna start building off of those. It gives me a good weight point to kind of build against, all right? So first thing we've got here is some... Um, <laughs> Hard salami? Yeah, this is hard salami. It's got a little red wine in it. We picked this up at Restaurant Depot. Very good product. Hopefully on down the road, we're going to use castle wine to uh, make the salamis, but that's that's a ways down the road. So fold into a pizza so slice. So as I'm doing this, I am it's basically folding it, exactly. folding it into quarters, okay? So what we want to do, we want about a one ounce portion on this, okay? One ounce portion is going to be about five slices of your round salami. So you have chorizo and you have salami chorizo. as well. Um, so like see what it looks like now versus when it's just kind of mm -hmm. stacked up, ready yep. to go, all right? So that's going to give us some height, some elevation, things like that. Unfortunately, it's not going to stay in place unless we put the sauce in first to kind of hold it. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. So, key ingredient. Another key ingredient. You guys see what's on my hands? Oh, the gloves. We never touch ready to eat food without having gloves on. Health department shows up and sees that, you're going to have a good talking to. Okay? So, always going to wear gloves with any, anything ready to eat. Right? What is that? Chorizo or pepperoni? This is a chorizo. chorizo. So, same uh, thing, about five slices, something like that. Right? 
basically after you do a couple of these, you're going to get a feel you for like doing them in opposite corners? Uh, yeah, you could do it opposite corners. You could do two corners. I mean, use your creativity. You'll get, like I said, after you do a couple of these, you kind of get used to it. Um, what I plan to do is hopefully when we get different meats in, things like that, um, kind of do a demo one and possibly take pictures of it. So as you guys change shifts, things like that, you'll be able to um, have a good jumping off point from it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be 100% precise. It just has to look good, okay? So with the prosciutto, now? with this, now I can't fold this in the quarters because it's very, very long and lanky, right? So I just kind of give it like a little wrap, almost just kind of ball it up a little bit and let it fall into my hand. It's gonna give you a little texture and things like that. It's also gonna give me a lot of height, a lot of elevation, make it look like there's a lot more there than, than really is, okay? So once again, you're looking for about the same size <clears throat> portion of meat that you have on the other one. Normally two, 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 two and a half slices, something like that, mm -hmm. is probably where you're gonna wanna be. Now this varies, when you buy it whole, it starts like this and it kind of shrinks down as you go up. Right. So as I slice it, your pieces get smaller and smaller. So you might have to put an extra piece in there, something like that, okay? That's Ultimately, you're shooting for Can an you ounce, ounce scale? and a half. Okay, so from this point, we've got our meats in, we've kind of got them cornered, and now we're just going to start filling in the blank spaces. Over here, I've got some Manchego cheese. Um, I can put this in however we would like. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be about three pieces. It's going to give you about an ounce and a half of, of cheese, okay? Uh, this little guy right here, this would be nice for you guys. It'll be pre-portioned when it comes in, or I'll show you guys how to portion it if I'm not around. Um, essentially, I weighed out about an ounce and a half of goat cheese on the scale, threw it in a piece of plastic wrap, and then all you do is take the piece of plastic wrap, wrap it around, give it a little twisty twist, and voila, it looks cute, right? Because goat cheese comes in a big log. If you try and just do a slice of it, it's never gonna hold up, it's gonna fall apart on you and it's not gonna look very presentable. This way, nice, tight, compact little thing. Um, other options, we could roll this in like fresh herbs, we could roll this in peppercorns. You know, the world is your oyster when it comes to, to that type of, that type of thing. Okay. Now, Chad, the, yeah. um, like the Monshuego, you're gonna have that already sliced in, in yes. those little groups? Yes. So you can, you can just kind of yeah. So when I showed up today, I had a sheet tray laid out, and then I had basically how you see it bundled out in your in your demo, your your practice runs. That's how it'll come. So I have it stacked, ready to go, right? And you just grab that whole bundle and, and make, realize one stack goes in in one box. Okay. So <clears throat> we got that. We got that. Uh, one more thing. We're also going to introduce. I'm going to steal it from this box here because I only cut enough for one. Um, would be the, uh, where's the cheese from? The cheddar cheese that is... Jubilee Heritage. Yeah. Jubilee Heritage. So apparently they use some of our wines in there, Castle Wines in there. Um, so we'd like to keep uh, that, that production and selling going for them as well. We're not here to cut anyone out. Um, so if we have a local local creamery making cheeses, why not? Let's put that in, in the, basically in the box as well. Okay. Uh, we're also looking into some local uh, producers of sopressadas and other charcuterie items. Um, so we might be getting those in as well. We'd like to be able to advertise that we are using local products, things like that. Okay, that seems to be a very, very big trend right now. Um, and oh, that's so actually from this point right here. So we know we're going to have a busy day, right? We know we're going to be long. Um, it's going to be very, very busy. We can prep these out this far ahead of time. Okay, we can get this all set up and then we can just put them in and we can refrigerate them. Okay, so yes, I know that took a little while and if you have to do one right away, it's gonna take a little while. So if you have a couple of these made up, you don't sell them right when you get an order for them. What you do is you keep making them up until you can't keep up with the pace and then that's when you grab the ones that are already pre-done, garnish them up and then put them out. Okay, that's what's gonna help you kind of, of get through that through that rush through that process okay um, but like I said from here it's basically just garnish um, we'll have some kind of bread element we're still kind of playing around with this this is some uh, fresh baked focaccia that I did today um, this is actually untoasted this is toasted on one side and this is toasted on both sides we did some crostinis earlier and they didn't last the weekend so I'm looking to get you a nice product that is gonna last 
the weekend, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That way we don't have to worry about it going stale. Fresh is good, but you know, it does come with the fact of no preservatives, no, anything like that. So, you know, it's something, one of those things we're gonna have to work towards to, to be successful. Got a couple of olives on here. I believe these are carbonados, a couple of black olives. We're working on olive blend. Um, basically from here though, we're just filling in the blanks, okay? Like wherever you see a little open spot, anything, you're trying to tuck, you're trying to create elevation. Um, here I've got some candy pecans that I did. Uh, these are basically a chipotle powder, brown sugar, regular sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla. I toss them in egg whites. And then I toss them in that sugar mixture and I cook them off for probably about 45 minutes, half hour, 45 minutes until they get nice and crunchy like this. I believe there's walnuts on your thing. Same recipe um, there as well. What temperature so, do you have it on? You should have to set it. Uh, about 300. 300. Yep, about 300. Set it for 15 minutes. So like I said, you're just looking to fill in the spaces, okay? There's not an exact weight on this. You want to make sure everything's visible and seen. Um, and then last but not least, we thought we'd introduce a dried fruit element to it as well. That was Elias's idea. Um, figure maybe we could get some stuff from Stripes when it's in season, hopefully mm -hmm. cheaply. Although they advertise their... Just for the their, die for right Oh now. my god, they are. That's but twenty one dollars for what was it for? Oh. Pick your own forty four quarts, I think, for twenty one dollars. Like, Jeez, yeah, I, I guess you're true. right, Greg. That frost really killed me. Um, and then last but not least, I'm thinking somewhere along the lines, we should probably get some fresh fruit on here. Grapes would probably be best, seeing as we're at a vineyard. Um, and yeah. that, you know, we can actually cover up that is amazing. the um, the canisters because those aren't so showy. But and and they'll support the grapes, right? So there you go. Got a little bread element. Um, normally when you're talking about charcuterie, you're not going to get a whole lot of bread with it, right? I know it doesn't look like very much for all the stuff that's on there, but that's really not the way they're meant to be eaten, okay? It's not mm -hmm. put everything on bread and eat it, which sometimes um, in this area people have that concept. It's just supposed to be more of a garnish um, and, and things like that. So we've got sweet, spicy, we've got salty, we've got a soft cheese, we got a semi-soft cheese, we got a hard cheese. The Manchego is actually sheep's milk goat cheese, obviously goat's milk. Um, and then our cheddar is gonna be cow's milk as well. So we've hit on all different, basically, uh, different ranges there and, and whatnot. But, so that's kind of the concept. Uh, people wanna order a couple of them. Obviously, we're gonna build this a little lower. We're gonna sink it down in. So one thing that's nice about these containers is that they do fold up, right? Mm -hmm. And you can stack them, all right? All right. So that, Boom, done, someone comes up and orders three, you go boop, 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 right up, and out you go, okay? So, that's kind of what we're going for. Um, like I said, as the seasons change, as we go through things, we can change up different sauces, we can change up different fruits. Uh, like I said, we're looking into local meats as well, we're looking into some other local creameries as well. Uh, Keswick, they do a really nice job. Um, and the farm or their barn just burnt to the ground probably about six months ago so they're finally getting rebuilt and, and ready to go um, so that's an option as well too um, so one of the things I think we gotta uh, reinforce is that the um, meat elements are pretty expensive absolutely so and so are the that, cheese elements that, yeah, so. that's why we were really he was very specific about how much so I know yeah. we like to be very generous here at Castle Vineyards but at the same time, in order to create a price point at $18, which is affordable, we need to be very mindful of that. Yeah. It'd be nice if we wrote down, you know, five slices of the salami, yeah, right. five like slices meat. of this, right. three right. slices yeah, of exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Like so picture. we have a basic idea. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy okay. has already <laughs> taken it. Chad, at Are what point can we legally that? take our gloves oh, off, too? Great. I mean, to, can you when serve them with your gloves off? So right here, I'm not touching ready to eat food. Okay, so okay. then you can. Right, okay. so if I get it all made up, I can take my gloves off and go out. Okay. You don't keep your gloves on, serve them, handle money, go back. And anytime right. you change a task, right. a task being putting this together, not handling individual product. So you can put this whole thing together with the same set of gloves, right? So when you go to give it to them, you can take the gloves off, reach down here, and, and hand it to them that way. Uh, like I said, anytime you're dealing with money, make sure you're not wearing gloves. After you handle the money, make sure you wash your hands, put gloves on, and then go back to the task. If, you know, we touch a multiple 
surfaces within the within the shed your gloves need rotated out okay gloves don't cost much i got you started off here on two boxes of each size um you're gonna go through with gloves that's that's the cost of doing business when you're dealing with food you're gonna go through gloves okay do you think there'll be like people with nut allergies that'll that will have to be careful Absolutely. not to use nuts and not you can't touch your gloves with your nuts well if there we have are. nuts in amongst things, I guess we should put that on the sign. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I don't it's think we can say. I have a nut allergy. Honestly. Well, I wouldn't recommend the charcuterie board because there are nuts in there and we have right. nuts back here. Mm -hmm. Right. They exactly. could have gotten in contact. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Nuts go to the You're going to run across allergies. If, they, if someone w wants something gluten free, everything in here is gluten free except for the bread. Right. right? And that, is that an intoler intolerance or is it an allergy? No, it's just, it's a, it's a diet. It's, it's my dietary choice. I don't want gluten. Okay, cool. We can absolutely do it. We'll just leave the bread off. Okay. Sounds good. Right. right. Um, that, that's an easy, that's an easy conversation to have, but yeah, the nut allergy thing, I would just steer them away, uh, off, off from that. Um, say if it's a severe nut allergy, I wouldn't recommend it because there are nuts back here and they could have come in contact with something else. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's not a severe nut allergy, we can put one together with you for no nuts. If you feel, if you feel safe, but that's, that's on that. We've made our, our, uh, notification well, I mean, we were planning on nuts for pretty much every rendition of this yeah. i mean we're right. talking almonds we're talking pecans we're talking walnuts yeah. you know? so yeah so, the, the nut allergy thing is non-negotiable i think right yeah. um as far as substitution